differ conception and circles are early or poorly controlled and hydroxychloroquine there is a hydroxychloroquine are considered safe in pregnancy so sulfacilogen is safe hydroxychloroquine is safe and rheumatoid arthritis symptoms is improved resolved during pregnancy and flare up after the delivery and MTXT hello my dear doctor so this is one of the important topic my dear the rheumatoid arthritis pregnancy the important issues are coming to your exam my dear so you must know them very well so let's start to read by that's what is written in the nurse my dear so it's written that rheumatoid arthritis uh, typically it was in women of reproductive age so once again the rheumatoid arthritis as we already learned the 30 to 50 years the peak age group of rheumatoid arthritis so the women of reproductive age so women issues surrounding the conception are therefore commonly encountered there are no current published guidelines regarding how patients considering conception should be managed although expert reviews are largely in agreement so some of the important key points are really important so let's see what are the key points that really you must know my dear patients with early or poorly controlled RA should be advised to defer conception until their disease is more stable so early or poorly controlled RA should be advised to defer conception till the time the patients become stable. So circle the stable and circle the defer conception and circle the early or poorly controlled rheumatoid arthritis. RA symptoms tend to improve in pregnancy but only resolve in small minority. So during pregnancy is good, the RA symptoms tend to improve and sometimes even resolve. So it's a good news. So we need to know that symptoms improve or resolve during time of the pregnancy. Patients tend to have a flare after delivery or following delivery. So start with the flare of the delivery. Methotrexate. So we need to learn that the MTX is not safe in pregnancy and needs to be stopped at least six months before the conception. Lefronomide is also not safe in pregnancy. So I have given the name of the lefronomide, the teflonamide. Other than the lefronomide is not safe, it's a teratogenic drug. So once again the this methotrexate and teflonamide, T4 teratogenicity, and here is a T4 once again teratogenicity, teflonamide. These two are not safe, not safe, not safe in pregnancy. The other two drugs of the DMR is there's the sulfacilogene, SS, and hydroxychloroquine. There is a hydroxychloroquine, are considered safe in pregnancy. So sulfacilogene is the safe, hydroxychloroquine is the safe. So yes, fine in pregnancy. Interestingly, studies looking at pregnancy outcomes in patients treated with the TNF alpha blockers do not show any significant increase in adverse outcomes. So we can say the TNF alpha blockers. You can say that a bit of safe. It should be noted that, however that many of the patients included in this study stopped taking TNF alpha blockers when they found out they were pregnant. So we don't know actually much about the TNF alpha blockers, whether they are really safe or not safe. A bit of question mark. The lotus corticosteroid means I'm writing the steroid once again. Lotus corticosteroid may be used in pregnancy. To control the symptoms. So steroids for symptoms. NSAIDs may be used, may be used, yes, until 32 weeks, but after this time should be withdrawn due to the risk of early closure of the patent may the doctor's arteries is a PDA. So the NSAIDs may be used until the 32 weeks. 
but after this should be stopped. Patients should be referred, of course, to an obstetric anesthetist due to the risk of atlantoaxial subluxation. So these are the important points line that you must know regarding the issues of pregnancy and the rheumatoid arthritis. So what we can do, we can make a box. Yes, we can make a box. We can make a box. So yes. We can make a box so that it will be helpful my dear. So the box is really important that we need to know that the most important points that we should think about that the early or poorly controlled RA should be advised today for the conception. Early, poorly controlled. So if you write down the early plus poor RA therefore the conception till the time stable. So this is the one important box my dear. One of the interesting things right the pregnancy usually flared up the diseases but here is a different here we can see the symptoms tend to improve in pregnancy in result. So RA symptoms improve even resolve in pregnancy. In contrast the RA symptoms we can see that the flare after delivery in the postpartum period. So this is another box my dear. Another box is really important if I'm writing MTX plus teflonamide these all are teratogenic so unsafe in pregnancy in contrast that the sulfur silagene is a safe plus hydroxychloroquine and also the steroid are safe. Sulfacelagin safe, steroid safe, sulfacelagin safe, steroid safe and hydroxychloroquine. So SSHC, so SSC, right, you can remember, are the safe. So yes, my dear, the methotrexate, the T4 terogenic, T4 terogenic drug, T4 teflonamide and terogenic unsafe. In case of methotrexate, that it is written the in case of methotrexate, the typical guideline says that stop this MTX six months. before conception and most importantly that we need to know another important box my dear that is regarding the NSAIDs 
is fine after 32x. But after, need to stop. Because the risk of early closure. Early closure of pattern doctor artists. And most importantly, the end of the talk that we need to learn. Anesthetist, and especially you can say the obstetric anesthetist should be referred because the risk of AA subluxation so these are the important points in the box that you need to remember my dear so I'm writing the number one that you need to learn yes So the RA symptoms of the improve or result during the pregnancy in the flare after delivery. And second important box that you need to remember, that is the MTX, T and teflonamide is a T4 telogenic is unsafe and the sulfur silogen safe, steroid is safe and hydroxychloroquine is safe. And number three important points, that MTX, that should be stopped before the conception in six months. And number four, yes, the NSS, 32W, means the 32X is safe, but after that it needs to be stopped and because of the risk of early closure of the PD. And last, number five, talks, my dear, the anesthetist should be referred because there is a chance of Atlanto axial subluxation. So this is the box, my dear, you need to learn. So somebody talk the early and poor controlled the remitted arteries differ the conception and step. Yes. So early or poor remitted arteries Definitely, early poor remitted artery is defer conception stable till the time stable, and remitted artery symptoms is improved, result during pregnancy and flare up after the delivery, and MTXT and teflonamide, teratogenicity, save sulfur cellogen, save steroid, and also the hydroxychloroquine. And MTX should be stopped six months before the conception, and NSH is a 32x. But after that is stopped and withdrawn because of the risk of early closure of the PDA and anesthetist because of the AA subluxation. I hope that my dear enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you very much.